that lobster and these crabs, huh? Y'all just take a look at it. And it's Joe's birthday here. Oh, it's my birthday today, so we're gonna cook that lobster and the crabs, huh? Yeah, huh? All right, I'm a swamp bucket over here, starting to boil, and we'll put some seasoning in there. Here's the seafood bowl we're gonna use. This is a uh, Sweet Smoky Joe's, their deep Creole seafood bowl. This stuff is excellent. It's not gonna have too much salt, not gonna have too much spice for the crabs and the lobster. Let that wonderful flavor shine through. So I'm gonna add some of this to the water here. So yeah, about, there we go. About three quarters of that right there. And we'll stir that in. All right, y'all, so we've come to boil here in the swamp bucket. All right, y'all, first we're gonna put the old lobster in because he's gonna take a little bit longer, all right, than them crabs. So we're gonna drop him in or we'll let him go. You know, he's take about 14 minutes or so. So we'll put that down in there. We'll put the top on. All right, and let that timer start. All right, y'all, so it's been five minutes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and we'll put the crabs in, okay? I'm gonna open here. All right, Whew. it's hot. So we'll throw the crabs in and we'll let this thing go about another nine minutes, all right? We'll make sure that lobster's down in there good, okay? Yeah. Now, throw the crabs in. Put these over here on the sides. Put one, put two, all right? Now we'll seal this bad boy off here for another uh, nine minutes. All right, y'all, so my time is going off. I'm gonna go ahead and get these out. And set them aside. Just a second. I just pair of clippers here. Now, be careful. I don't want to reach all the way bottom of these clippers because you do have that element down there. It's not really a good idea to touch that metal, but anyway, we're being careful. So, let me grab these. Dungies. Oh, oh, I don't want to tear that leg off. Mm hmm. I'm going to do these bad boys here. Get my big old lobster. Grab him. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna have to regrip. Let me try grabbing by the antenna. Oh yeah, that'll work. All right, y'all. I'm gonna let these sit. Oh, that's still hot, hot. Let that sit for a few minutes. All right, y'all. Next thing I'm gonna do real quick here, just to keep from overheating, I'm gonna top toss the bad boys in the ice bath for a second here, and just uh, crabs off in there too. Uh, just keep everything from overheating, overcooking. All right, toss them back in there now. I just shocked them, brought that core temperature down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now let them sit till we get everything else ready. All right, y'all. Now we're gonna do some fillet tips that I tossed in Wagyu beef tallow by Fat Works. This is gonna be amazing. Y'all, we got the griddle ripping hot. And this won't take but a minute or two. So these tips right here in the center. Kind of spread them out a little bit, and we're just gonna sear those up, y'all. Like I said, that wouldn't take a minute. All we really gotta do is get a good blaze and sear on each side of these. Look at that. And flip them over. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And that beef tallow, you can just smell it that way, goes. And this is some filet trimming. I cut up the big the tenderloin yesterday. That's what I had left. Okay. Beautiful color. All right. There we go. Let that go about a minute or so more and those will be good. I'll be ready to put those in the serve here. That's good, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. The last thing I wanna do is overcook these little tips. Alright. I get these in the bowl. 
over here. And you can see rest. The will continue cooking even as they rest. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Charles, isn't that a beautiful setup right there? That three and a half pound main lobster. Those two beautiful dungies. So we're ready for, about to put the steak out and we'll be good to go. Alright y'all. Kind of lost my film partner, but that's alright. Got my wonderful lobster and Dungeness crabs here. Look absolutely beautiful. Then we got some filet tips right there. Oh, this is gonna be a wonderful meal, y'all. I can't wait to dive in. So the first thing I want to taste, I think, is going to be uh, one of these little flight tips over here, y'all. Let's just, actually, let's be a little cook by it. Let's get a little fork. Okay. Give that a taste. Man. <laughs> it's so flavorful. And that way you beef tallow, it stands out. Mm mm mm. That's nice. Now, go ahead and hopefully be able to show y'all a little bit on this lobster. Let's just crack this claw here. Oh, always deal with some spines and everything on lobster. Make it work for it a little bit. So, and this knuckle always has some good meat. Go ahead and bust that open, y'all, first. It's a little teaser. Mm. See if we got some good meat in there. Oh yeah, a little golden nugget down in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Go west. Uh, keep on. I just smell this bad boy. Just claw. Oh. oh. Look at that, y'all. Right there, that, that thing came out. It looks like it's gonna come out in one piece. If I can crack this one more time back here. Okay. Bust that out of here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. One piece of lobster claw right there come out. Mmm. Mmm, that's wonderful. Y'all, I'm gonna enjoy this dinner. Trying to figure out where Captain Bay went. Thank y'all so much. Wish me a happy birthday. I appreciate and look forward to many years to come. Which God bless. Y'all have a good one.